up this KC, the red pill alpha back at you fellas again with that motherfucking heat. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin to the back of her motherfucking neck. Holding her down, locking her down, submerging her down to this motherfucking game, pimping. Oh, yeah. Please like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Let's build these subscribers up. Let's get this live stream jumping. So we can keep our motherfucking feet in the back of her motherfucking cerebellum. I said her neck. Holding her down with the game. That's all. We ain't gonna normally hold her down with game. <laughs> and also, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, you will be the first one to get it. Piping high status. All ear candy gaming to your ear. You're gonna get it. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. You got any comments, get them in my Gmail, railsfargo12 at gmail.com. That's R-E-L-L-S-F-A-R-G-O-1-2 at gmail.com. Or you can just get at me at YouTube. I'm, I'm all ears. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> young fellas, young homies, young players. Don't listen to no woman in your family when it comes to picking these chicks. Don't do that. Let's talk about it. Let's jump straight into this shit. I don't care if it's your mother. I don't care if it's your sister, your grandmother, your cousins, your aunties. Your, it doesn't matter. Don't listen to them when it comes to picking chicks. Always listen to a man when it comes to picking these chicks. Women, they tend to want to tell you what to go after who to holler at and things like that because these are things that they will want from a man. They will want a man to come and do these type of things and pursue them that way. But they didn't get that. They hit the motherfucking wall. No one's fucking with them. They had that. All, all of them had great men in their lives. A lot of these women had someone great in their lives. Or they had that person right there that, that could have been in their lives that was great. Yet and still they chased the bullshit. You know, they put themselves out there to chase a whole lot of bullshit. They chased men out here who didn't give a fuck about them. Man was just piping them down and tossing them to the side of the motherfucking road, treating them like shit. You know, uh, man, they chasing after this, that's got a certain status. He's on a certain level in life. He looks a certain way to her. You know, he's a certain height. You know, they chase these dudes and these dudes pipe them the fuck down, throw them out. Ain't no all that shit. Whatever that that dude wanted at that time, and if she likes him, she's going to give it to him. She's going to let him get all that shit. But she's not knowing that after the time goes and moves and moves and moves, after the years progress and progress, you are wearing thin, bitch. You're not the same motherfucker no more. Oh, no. You're not the same person no more. No one is looking forward to looking at you. No one's looking forward to trying to holler at you. No one is checking for you. No one's no one's knocking on your door, banging on your motherfucking phone. That used to happen when you was younger, but it's not happening no more. And the young chicks, young, I'm talking to young fellas. This is strictly for the youngsters. And the young chicks, they already going through the cycle right now with dudes. They don't know what to, they don't know who to fuck with or who to juggle. They don't know what's up. They just going on what's best for them. Right then and there. And they growing up into the social media world. So they somewhat definitely worse than the chicks that I was growing up with back in the 90s and as a kid in the 80s. Well, I ain't going to not dating in the 80s, but the 90s came around when I started getting my shit wet. Shit. It was jumping. And deal more the type of women right now. I'm 39 years old. I see women all the time of my age that I came up with when I was growing up with. And they nowhere. No one wants them. They're not married. And if they are in a relationship, it's someone they settle with. Settle, you know, it's a motherfucker that, that they know for them, you know, for a fact. They know for themselves. They would never end up being fucking with this dude. Especially back in the days when they was younger, when they was in a, you know, when they had a youth going and shit. They wouldn't fuck with that dude. Hell no, nah, but they selling for this dude now. Why? Because no one else wants them. So they looking to give advice to the young chicks. They looking to give advice to the young men. Don't listen to them bitches. They doomed. It's over with for them. You want to listen to a man who experienced a whole lot. Preferably a man who ran through a lot of ethnicity of women. That's who you want to listen to. You want to listen to a man who he'd have the sisters. 
white chicks, Asian chicks, Haitian, Italian, you know, and Puerto Rican, Latino. Let's keep going. You want to actually listen to a guy like that <clears throat> who dealt with multiple different me um, women. <sighs> Fuck that. Let's take that back. Who dealt with multiple different women. Why? It's because that guy got a whole lot of experiences. He can tell you the difference between a different ethnicity and woman because he's dealt with them. He know their attitude. He know their ways. He know how they move. He know how they get down. He knows all that shit, you know? And on the other hand, that man probably been an ex-motherfucking uh, ass kicker, woman beater, or uh, uh, ex-verbal um, um, verbal abuse type motherfucker when it came to women. You don't know. But he weathered through the storm of women. So he knows what woman to get, what woman to holler at, how to take your time, how to move, how not to move, what to do, what not to do. Men of that nature. If you listen to these women, you're going to find yourself fucking with a woman of her caliber, wherever you're listening to. And it could be a group of women. You're going to find yourself with a woman of their caliber, a nothing ass bitch. Oh, yeah. Who's willing to do the same shit they did to their man years ago? You just a new wave now. You got another, you got enough 15, 20 years in you fresh that they can fuck out of you. You can't get them years back no more. You wasted years with this nothing ass chick. 10, 15, 20 years. And you ain't got nowhere. You the broke bread. You did everything up under the motherfucking sun for this woman. She ain't did shit too much for you. She bought a pair of shoes, a tie. She took you out to one of these little restaurants one day. That's it. She sucked you from the back. <laughs> Some creepy shit like that. What she do for you? Come on, man. You ain't getting nothing from this bitch. Nothing at all. And every man, that's why you listen to a man when it comes to picking these bitches. Every man has been through that. The men that you see now, that's on the receiving end from women, definitely was on the non-receiving end from women at one point in life. They just know how to maneuver out of that shit and how to, you know, stay in their position, play their position to follow up on bitches that's going to fall in line with them. Oh, yeah. You think I ain't broke bread for bitches before? You ain't goddamn right. You think I ain't go out looking out for chicks and um, women I was going with, women I was fucking with at the time? Watch my mouth. Try not to call them a bitch. Try not to call them, you know, not, try not to disrespect them when I seen disrespectful shit in them. Because I'm listening to my motherfucking mama. Because I'm listening to my motherfucking aunties. I'm listening to my motherfucking grandmas and cousins and them. Oh, this ain't what you do. Don't do that. You will lose her. You don't say this, you don't say that, you'll lose her. You can't put blame on her if you ain't caught this, you ain't caught that. Get the fuck out, but the bitch was doing the shit the whole time. Mama, grandmother, <laughs> aunt, you the same motherfuckers who somewhat molded me and raised me into, this is how you treat a woman. When all along, they wanted that behavior from other men. They wanted that from other men. My mother and grandmother and all aunts and all them, they wanted that from other men that they could never fucking get from them dudes. They could never get it from my father. They could never get it from my stepfather, things of that nature. They could never get it from Leroy, the nigga who they was fucking with when her and my stepfather was on the break or her and my father wasn't fucking around. I mean, you know how they go. They could never get it from these dudes. So they'll try to brainwash your motherfucking ass. And to being that kind of dude that they would really want. When knowing goddamn well, they would never respect that kind of dude anyway. They was to get a good dude. Is they was to get a dude that goes all the way out for them, bend all the way backwards for them. They not going to respect him. Fuck no. He's too nice. He's too kind. A little, um, you know, a little roughness around the edge. Let me go get a little John John, a nigga that shot up the block two, three weeks ago. He had a fucking thousand motherfucking bitches running around with crack on him. He don't give a fuck about life. Let me go, you know, spread my youth to him. Go fuck with him or his kind. 
Then I want the good man later on in life. When I'm all washed up, I'm damn near got a partial hysterectomy or a whole hysterectomy of my pussy. Yeah, my shit's been wore out. I want a good man now. Now that I got all these mouths upon me. Like a 1976 motherfucking Chrysler Plymouth in 2021. Over a billion motherfucking miles. I mean, come on, man. But that's who they will want as a man. So they're going to give you that kind of game. Don't listen to that shit. Dead in that shit. Anything that's dead to you, you bury that motherfucking shit and leave it be. Don't even toss no 40 in on that mother. Don't toss no 40 out, no champagne. Don't even smoke to that shit. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Rest in peace. That's how you do that situation. You listen to men who been through the shit with women. Who had their ups, who had their downs. Men who was forced to play their position because the bitch, the monkey press, they fucked over them. Now they ain't got no ass to fall back on. Now they forced, they going through an ass, with, they going through a drought. But that man came about that drought. I mean, every, that's what happened eventually. You know, you may go through the drought. Then you come up out of that drought. And now you back to the holes once again, once you shake that rust off. But you know who you were before. Them the kind of men who you want to listen to, bro. You want to listen to them kind of men right there. And it's, it's, you know, it might be a little, you may be, oh man, that's a little harsh to listen to a dude who smacked up a couple of bitches. Listen to a dude who disrespected bitches. Listen to a dude who the pipe down everything moving. Why not? He's a man. He went through his ups and downs with a woman, with women, as you going to go through your ups and downs with women. Shit is not going to be gold. It's not going to be gold at all, bro. It's not going to be gravy. It's not going to be. It's not going to be for the better good for you and her in that relationship. It's not, man. Y'all gonna have your ups and downs. You gonna have your turmoil. You are gonna have your fights. You know, you are gonna have your disagreements. You are gonna have a lot of shit in life. That's what makes you a man. Not agreeing with everything this bitch do and say for the sake of loving her. You got to go against that bitch. For the sake of having some fucking kahunas. For, some, for the sake of having some fucking balls. You got to go against that bitch. It's your nature. You going to buck your nature. You buck your nature, that's how you fall. That's real shit. That's how a lot of men fall. They go against their nature. Your true nature is to tell this bitch when she's acting like a bitch, you acting like a bitch. And put that bitch in her place. Not hitting her and doing all that shit, but it's easy to put a bitch in her place. Get the fuck up out of her face. Get up out of her way. Let that bitch be. Dip out. Go fuck around somewhere else. Put that bitch in a motherfucking place. That's what a man do. You don't, you don't agree with everything she fucking say. Hell no. But these is the, this is the type of shit that your mother, your grandmother, your aunts and all them will try to put up on you, man. They try to bestow this type of shit up on you, man, so you can have all the love in the world for these women, for nothing ass women. Too. And these your your par your guardians, your parents, and your family, they be knowing them bitches ain't nothing. Cause they ain't shit. They know that. But in order to protect the herd, what do you do? What do you do? Huh? You go against the grain. You go holler at your nephew, your son. It doesn't matter. You look, you go holler at the young man and you tell him, hey, man, look, that's not all women. That's what they're going to tell you, man. Hey, that's not all women. All women are not like that. Just because she's like that, you, you, yeah, yeah, let her go. The next one going to come. She's going to treat you a whole lot better. Yeah, the next one going to come and be way worse than that bitch. Real shit, man. Listen to me. Do not get your game from no woman when it comes time to picking up women. Don't do that. Don't look. I look. I was told that shit when I was younger by a lot of older chicks. Oh, this is what you do. This is how you approach her. This is how you pull her. This is this and that. This is this and that. This and that. I followed a lot of that shit, bro. And I was a fucking human toilet. I got treated like shit. I got treated like shit when I was young. Oh yeah, I've been through that phase, man. I said, hold up, fuck, this ain't right. I had to get with the OGs. OGs, I man, be you. Be you. 
chop to the bitch, holler at her, you know, hit your pickup game or whatever. She holler, she holler. She don't fuck her. Be you. Keep pushing. Go to the next bitch. Holler at the next bitch in her face. Pull the next bitch in her Be you. Man, I listened to the old cheese, man. I was me. I did me. I mean, I took their advice as men. Nailing them motherfuckers left and right. I was nailing at one point, bro. Hey, bro, I went through some shit when I was young. I was nailing at one point, man. I thought my motherfucking dick was going to fall off. Like, literally, nigga. Scabbed up inside the condom type shit. That's how much I was fucking. Real shit, bro. Why? Because I was me. They're going to like you for you being you. Be you. Whatever attracts these women that you got, whatever. I don't know who you are, but be you. Don't listen to these bitches. You're going to crash like that, pimp. Like this shit, share this shit, and subscribe. It's the message. And I'm going to keep coming with this shit. Do not listen to no females in your motherfucking family when it comes time to picking bitches. Don't do it. Listen to men that fucked with a whole lot of women. A whole lot of women. That's who you listen to. Anyone else tell you different? Go listen to them then. <laughs> but this is what's real right here. Listen to men that fucked with a whole lot of women. I don't give a fuck. He fucked with a long distance. She was all these bitches was way out of town. He was in his city. I don't give a fuck. He fucked with them from a short distance. Listen to men that got bitches under their belt. That's how you get the game. Holla.